Hello friends. So today happens to be Mother's Day. So happy Mother's Day to all you mothers out there. And really happy Mother's Day to everyone because we all have that feminine, that Shakti energy within us. And we all have a desire to create, to, to bring forth, like to birth into the world from an empty space, from our wombs, um, something and bringing it into life. So it doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman, we all have that desire, that that wanting um, to birth things into the world. And so it's it can be a day for all of us to set into and to honor or find appreciation for those things that we have birthed into the world or maybe think about things that we want to what are our nurturing tendencies our loving those feminine qualities that we have within all of us just honoring that our connection with nature whatever it might be and so for those of us who actually birthed human beings into this world um it can be a time of just really appreciating that journey, how it's changed us as humans and how we can maybe just celebrate that a little bit more, give ourselves a break, bring ourselves back into balance. And so that can be done for anybody. It could be like if you're a business owner and you birthed into the world some kind of a business or some kind of a passion, or maybe it's even a time of reflection where you're thinking like, I'm holding myself back from birthing things into the world, from bringing things in, from creating. and and reflecting on what you can do in order to do that so that we can feel fulfilled in this world because it doesn't necessarily have to be physical birth of these humans it can be other things that we bring and we contribute and it becomes our legacy um our gift to of our lifetime to this world how do we make this world a better place what can we bring into the world to do that and so celebrate it just use it as a time for reflection a time for appreciation so there we have that. And now we'll jump into the Oracle reading. Um, I was really hoping I did not have my goddess deck with me today, but I think, you know, like all things, it's probably just supposed to be. And so I pulled from the work your light. I just felt like, you know, Mother's Day, I pull from the goddess deck. But um, this was the message that wanted to be heard today. Align your life. So what is no longer in alignment with who you truly are. So just looking at that card right away, what, I mean, for a lot of you watching this right away, there might be something that's just jumping out like, oh crap, there it is. There's that sign or there's that other message. Maybe you've been hearing other signs or feeling that, that um, intuit intuitive pull that there's things out of alignment in your life. And so this is just another um, example of that or another sign, another message that you can use. So just, right away without getting into it too much. What do you, what, how do you feel? What, what does this bring up? So what this card really represents is thinking about what in your life is no longer in alignment with who you really are. That in life, the, the one constant is the fact that things change. Like that's the one thing, <laughs> that's the one stable thing is knowing that things change. And so things change, we evolve, we grow. And yet there's times where we feel like we still have to cling to old ways or old patterns or old roles, even though we've changed and we've evolved. Um, and so we have to be able to move through the changes and the cycles in order to really live life fully. Because if we're clinging to old ways or old cycles and we're not being able to be in the flow with that, then we're going to end up feeling, we're going to resist life and we're going to end up feeling stuck because here this has evolved and here we are back, you know, at a different level that's not in alignment with who we truly are and who we're becoming. So many of us have learned who, like who we need to show up and be. This is part of like evolutionary psychology. It's a part of just being human that we become dependent on these adults and we in order to feel loved and to feel included, which are things that we need, as humans need to have, we then look to others to help us define who or what we should be doing in order to feel accepted. And so then we take on these different roles and we wear these different masks. 
And there's nothing wrong with that. It's just something that we, we grow and we learn. And so then all of a sudden we can find ourselves evolving into adulthood and maybe you took on a, a job or a position that you felt like your parents would be proud of you for doing or the community would be happy school whatever you can impress other people and then you get into it and you're like oh this is not this doesn't feel right now and so it can be hard to go with the flow and to change and to to make big like those are big things those are big life changes and that can be super hard in order to to realign with but if we're really paying attention so sometimes we don't because sometimes we just distract ourselves from that truth we do other things, we keep ourselves busy so we don't have to sit in silence and feel that discord within us. But if you do, if you're able to really recognize that and give yourself the space to evaluate and to feel, a lot of times it'll get to the point where it is becomes much harder to put up with and to keep living this lie or the facade instead of realigning with your own truth. So there's this truth within us that we almost have to surrender to. We have to be able to live fully authentically. We were all sent here for a reason. We all have these special gifts and you know, life circumstances also that we incorporate into that. And we need to honor that. So if we're living this lie or we're living for someone else or this idea of how we should live instead of living authentically, then we're out of alignment. And really one of the I don't know if we want to say purposes, but one of the um, biggest lessons in life or like life school is to find that pure authenticity within us or that genuine nature and to live from that. Not to be having all these external stories or conditioning or whatever else that we feel we should show or how we should show up. We actually guide from our heart, from our that true self, from our truth instead of letting other people's opinions change the way that we show up. So that's kind of like, that's that's the, the full evolving lotus is that we can get to that, you know, there's layers of us and as they peel away these stories, these conditioning, whatever, we peel them away to get to that true self and then we can move forward so authentically and beautifully and not be dependent on other people's opinions or what people think of us in order to move forward. And so the more that we can tap into that and it means like recognizing it, but then shedding away all that isn't us so that we can fully show up into this world as our true self. So when this card is pulled, it's asking you to let go of who you once were or the things that you feel like you needed to show up into and be like redefine yourself based on who you've now evolved yourself to be. So that might mean letting go of relationships or changing things within your relationship. It doesn't always mean walking away from people. It can just mean like, we need to sit down and, and shift things up a little bit so that it is more in line. We need to grow together and, and having hard conversations that maybe you've shied away from. So it can be that, it can be positions in, in your job. Like it, it could mean moving away from a job or changing jobs, but it also could be how do I show up differently in this role? How can I be more confident? How can I be more genuine and creative or whatever, you know, you know what that is, but how can I show up differently more in alignment with myself? It could also just be like removing the mask that you wear. If you feel like you have to show up this way, otherwise you're going to feel judged or people won't accept you, then it might mean like literally like taking off that. Like I no longer need to pretend to be this way. I just need to show up as myself. And what's interesting is that um, it's like you get weird, <laughs> but in a cool way because we all have this like childlike playfulness that really is at our heart. You know, when you think about when people talk about angels and spirit guides or whatever, you'll often hear that they they play tricks on people or the human world or they're just so lighthearted and ju jovial and fun and almost like prank. And so I think about that and I think, well, that's interesting because if that's our, if that's spirit without these dense bodies, then that's our true nature is we want to be playful. We want to enjoy. We want to just like <laughs> laugh and, and have fun. And so then we can get kind of weird and that's okay. That's showing your genuine nature coming through. But you see that more and more is like, it's not, 
and I'm using the word weird just because I sometimes feel like I'm super weird, but it's more like this uniqueness, you know, like, um, like everybody, like the snowflakes, right? There's so many different ways to show up and we're all so unique and yet most of the time when we're wearing masks or when we're doing something that society wants to, we're like, we're not unique. We're like robots or we're like sheep. And we, we don't, it's a, we're, we become afraid to stand out in that way, unless it's in a way that's super socially acceptable, like becoming the, the best in your um, industry or something like that, instead of having a playfulness, um, your own little quirkiness to it. And so when you can fully show up as yourself, like, what an act of self-love and appreciation. And so really that's what this card is asking you to do is to be courageous, to go for it and to remove all of those things that are not in alignment with your truth any longer. First, you have to be able to recognize what that is. Then you have to have the courage to move forward with that. Cause once you see it, then it's like, if you don't move forward, then that's where that resentment or that feeling of um, being stuck will show up and thinking about like at the end of your life, you know, what do you want to be? The, what, the Knowing that you fully expressed your full self or thinking that you did a really good job of playing the part. And I don't think anybody wants to get to the part and realize that they limited themselves based on other people's opinions or not being able to go with the flow and shift into the higher more evolved version of themselves. So this is what it's asking you to do. Um, so it'll be interesting to hear how that shows up in your life.